Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Bubby, get down so you don't fall, okay? Get down so you don't fall. Yeah, so I'm about to cook this meal, okay? Um, We're going to have some tricolor veggie pastas. I already made it. No, it's too fat. Let me show you. So, we've got that, right? That's first things first. We got the pasta. I put some minced garlic and olive oil, and I put one of these. They're so good. Inside of here, shook it up. So everything can have a taste on the pasta, right? We're going to get back to that. We got some fresh parsley. I'm going to have my baby girl chop up like half of this. So that way I can have parsley for my food. Um, It goes inside. I'm going to show y'all. Oh, let me get my tomatoes. So, I grew these. I'm going to put a couple of those in there, right? And I'm going to put a whole bunch of these in there. Because it's mainly red, but I got a whole bunch of these in my refrigerator and I got to use them. So, I'm going to just put this right here. That... Um, and we're going to start. So, I put my olive oil right here. And I'm going to talk about the ingredients as I go watch y'all. I got the shrimp. First of all, let me put my, my fire on. My bad. Please. I'm gonna do my I got shrimp okay and I got scallops I like both or you could just do one or you could do both or you could do just one it's up to you but I like both you like both alright look at this who did that <laughs> I'm gonna start with the I figured it's scallops. So let me cut this down because that thing is gonna pop. Yeah. You can um you can start cutting up the parsley, Johnny. Half of it, okay, please. It's a little thing right here, but I'm gonna cut this. Like, I'm gonna cut it right here. I just put half of the bag. That was the scallops. And then. Half of it? <clears throat> yes, please. Like, ball, bunch it up, ball it up, and chop it. Finally, all the way across. So, say half of the part. Yes, half of the bundle, please. It has to be see that's why I don't like to rip those things. Alright. <laughs> Let me What's up, Seth? Alright, so I'm making that pasta that you love, Seth. That's what I'm making. Let me see. Um here. A little bit more. Not a lot. Like not most of it, but a little bit. Alright, that's enough I guess. So, and now I'm getting the um the shrimp. This, that stuff you like, Seth. You like this one. This one got that special cheese. I'm going to show you all the ingredients. So, that was um scallops and shrimp and olive oil. That's all I got in here so far. Take it off. 
and I got it on five. I just put it on five. I got my fresh parsley. I'm about to show you the ingredients. Huh? Yes, I want you to chop it up. Chop it up fine. You like, fold it up. Look, go like this. Yeah, and start cutting. Okay. All right. So I got my pink Himalayan salt. I don't need a whole lot. A little bit of salt, just a couple crunches, just to put it in there, cause I'm about to put something that got salt, and I don't use salt, so just to say it's in there, you know. I'm about to put the um. This is the black peppercorns, the grinder. So fresh black pepper. You could put a lot of pepper. To give it a little kick. And pepper is good for, you know, sinuses and shit like that. So, I'm going to put a lot. I like pepper. Um, and I'm going to start moving this out of my way. Then, I'm going to put... I already got olive oil. This could go right here. Baby. I'm going to put some turmeric. Just enough to give it, like, a little bit of color. I eat mm -hmm. all the time. So, for me, I guess in this dish, it's just about the color. It's a little sprinkle. It's not too crazy. Look. Hey, Kev. Hey, Uncle Kev. See? Just like that, right? <laughs> and, hold on, y'all. And I got this right here. This is the original salt-free um, seasoning blend. And we have onion. Spices including black pepper, celery seed, um, basil, mustard seed, cayenne pepper, and parsley, garlic, carrot, um, and oil of lemon. Okay? So, I only got a little bit, so I'm going to use all of it. Because I'm about to make a big pot for my family, so I'm putting all of this. Alright, that's trash. And then I got the organic ginger. So I say about a tablespoon. So that way it can be all throughout your pasta because that's where your shrimp and stuff gonna be. So you could kind of overdo it. So just do a tablespoon. Cause it's about to be a whole pan. I'm gonna show you. Um and I'm gonna need a I'm gonna need that when you get done chopping it up, Shawnee. You could actually put it in here, and then I'm, I'm gonna need to chop up the. I'm gonna have to chop up a shallot. Yes, that's fine. So I just opened the garlic. Oh, not the garlic. The um, the ginger. All right. So I said a tablespoon. So that's good. That's about that. All right. Um. Now at this point, I could put some tomatoes. I'm not putting. It. I'm. I'm gonna put my little special saison. This is for salads and veggies. Um, seasoning. That right there. And I'm gonna put the whole thing. I already put one in my pasta, so I'm gonna put just one in here. So it could be plenty of flavor. Watch oh, that's my that's my oven. Watch it. Telling me, huh? No, nah, you don't gotta wash it. That's that's a little bit too much for me. That's a bit extra for me. So. All right. Um, I put the garlic. I put that packet of seasoning, and now I got the shallot. One one small medium shallot. It's like. I guess the size of some of my finger. All right. I need that knife. I can't use this knife on All right. All righty. This is only my second time cutting the shallot, so I have no idea what I'm doing, y'all. I just know I want to use it because I never used the shallot in this recipe, so I want to add it instead of putting like an onion, you know? Oh, this apparently is in two pieces. Hold on. Alrighty. So 
So the shallots, pretty cool. I mean, where did I get these from? I know one thing. I don't like the skin, the thinness. It's not like an onion with the peel right off. You're like scratching it off, which is crazy. You would think you could do this. I don't necessarily like that. It's too much like peeling the potato to me. <laughs> Alright. So. Alright. So I'm going to cut it down the middle. That I do know. I know that much. How I want to cut it. Cut it down the middle. And then dice it. I cut it down the middle three times. And I'm going to just cut it across. Mm-hmm. The parsley on standby. The pasta's on standby. The tomatoes are on standby. I'm about to chop up the, the um, tomatoes too. Because the tomatoes are a key ingredient as well. The little cherry tomatoes. That's so why I'm putting these shallots in here so they can cook. Not necessarily make them brown or anything. They don't need to add any color. They're purple. So they add any color. They can do it like that. That's, that's already pretty enough shit. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's up, Randy? What you doing, dog? <laughs> um, hold on. Let me wash this off. So these are shallots, apparently. Something I've never used until. The other day, this is my second time using this. Something like an onion, you know. I'll say it's in an onion family, actually. Peel off the little outer papers, and I'm I'm just gonna take this and cut the rest of this up. You know what's funny? I, you know when you was a kid, you go to Red Lobster with your mom or your grandma or your auntie or your dad, somebody, and you see <laughs> the food and they be having all them different layers. Yeah, that's me creating this instead of going out. That's why I learned. Like, you learn about certain ingredients, watching those little cook shows and stuff. I ain't never take a cooking class in my life. Oh, it's got some of that, some of that parsley is in here, cooking on top of the garlic and the shallots and the seasoning, right? So, I'm going to show y'all, I'll show y'all another view. I'm about to turn it up, too, because I wanted to start cooking some more, because I'm about to add some more stuff so I can make it quicker, you know? So, this is what it's looking like now. Okay, and I'm going to cook it so that sauce can dry up a little bit because you don't want it to be too wet. But you do want to keep the moisture. Hey, Miss Pratt. <laughs> you caught me. <laughs> um, all right. So we got that. I need to cut this up and cut up my tomatoes. So we had the ginger and the turmeric and the um the pepper and the salt um and the pepper of oh, the, the the what is it cracked pepper black pepper and these tomatoes that I grew yes so I'm cutting those into like you know I'm start putting them in here because my kids don't like tomatoes, so I gotta make it <laughs> make it cut it down a little bit, cut them up a little bit so they can't really recognize it. They're just gonna know yummy goodness. Yeah, these tomatoes were beautiful. I got so many tomatoes, it's a mess. <laughs> oh my goodness, so many. I'm thinking about um freezing them though so they could last longer because I feel like they will go bad even though they're in a the refrigerator. 
Oh, this smells super good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know Julia. Yeah. I know her. I used to watch her cooking. I definitely did. She was a sweetheart. I definitely remember her. Yep. And Emerald. And the French guy. I forget what his name was. I I don't think I ever did catch it, but I remember him. Um, so I'm basically going to take either half or all of these tomatoes and just cut them all in half. Yeah, I'm probably just going to take the whole thing so they don't go bad. Yeah. I'm making a big pan. So if you're making a full size pan, I would say put uh, all of them. <laughs> as long as they're good. I don't want those. All right. Let me stir this. So my tomatoes can get some of that juice on them. tomatoes. I'm going to just cut them in half. Um, yeah, I'm going to just cut them in half and put them in here. Wrong knife. Because <laughs> they don't like the tomatoes, so at least they'll fall apart, you know, and they'll eat them. By the time they get them, they'll get some. Well, my son doesn't eat them, so <laughs> I think he ate it by accident one time. I'm not old. I am old. I think my son ate a a, a cherry tomato one time and was like through with it. But he ate the whole thing, but he didn't want another one. <laughs> he did not want another one. Oh, somebody showed me a trick. If you take like, I don't have one, which I got to get one. I want a glass one. If you take a chopping board and place it on top of your tomatoes flat on the surface and take a knife and cut under that, you will just cut your tomatoes. But I wouldn't think that that's for cherry tomatoes, I guess, because they're so small, you know? I don't know. They're too low to the, to the table in my mind. <laughs> I'm trying to chop up all of these fast. Let me cut it down. It smells so good. I would eat this right now by itself, just like this. Like, I wouldn't even need the pasta. But I gotta cook it right. <laughs> I gotta cook it right. And I learned this. I learned this from my client. She is cooking this today, too. I went and got the ingredients for her. So, <laughs> what I did was I just got my ingredients and just cooked mine as well. Because I haven't had mine basically probably since she cooked hers, too. So, it's about time again. It's been a few months. And I really love this dish. I would eat this a couple times a week for real, for real. It's that good. It's really good. And it's really good for you. Um, okay, I'm gonna mix these up. Don't run, okay? Why? Because you're gonna hurt yourself, baby. Alright, so we got the tomatoes, we have the shrimp, we have the scallops, we have the ginger, we have the salt, the pepper, the turmeric, the a little bit of parsley, because it's only a little bit, because I didn't put the parsley totally in there, but I'm using the same cutting surface, so some is inside of there. The shallots, um, the minced garlic, and the special packet of Goya seasoning. It's the green packet. So now I'm going to let this get how it gets. And I'm going to show you the star of the show. Here's the star of the show. <laughs> 
that right there. I'm going to put everything inside the pot. Well, not the pot, the pan. And this goes in the middle. And at the end, you just give it a stir. And it's just so much cheesy goodness. So much of the flavor from the seafood. Everything, all of the layers is so good. But so I'm about to give this a couple minutes to cook. So, yeah, let me get these ready. I'm going to get it ready. It comes like this in this little teeny box. And she was making hers. I just left my client, too. And she was making hers. But only a smaller portion for herself. But I'm making mine for my family. So, you know. Yeah. So it comes like this with the foil. And you got to unravel it. And then you take that off. But I'm about to put that in there in a couple seconds. Let me stir this up some more. I want to cook the tomatoes down. Cook the tomatoes down. So when they get it, they don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm going I'm to show you what it looks like right now. I'll probably give it like two more minutes. And then I'm going to put it so it can go in the oven. All right, so now you got that. Now it looks like that. <laughs> so, all right. And... Let me see. Alright, so I got the pasta. Right here. The tri-color pasta. And I put a, a packet of... Um, where is it? Oh, okay. A packet of this in my pasta. Just one, pot, one packet inside of here. And I put one packet in my... Uh, veggies and my shrimp and my scallops so I'm about to begin layering it now and I want all this juice and all this stuff let me move this one out the way And that's what it's looking like. It looks super good already. Like I said, I would just eat that seafood like that. So I'm going to just let these noodles, you know, soak in that. So it could take on some of that flavor of the seafood already before I even put it in there. Um, I am going to bake this with that special cheese in the middle. And then once it's ready, um, is when... When I give it a toss, so everything becomes incorporated. So let me get this. <clears throat> so I got my pan. You see, it's super big. It's for all of us. So I'm gonna just, you know, put everything inside. Um, let me see. Get some oil. Guess I'll do. Hold on, this is hot. I'll do this, and I'll put my parsley and stuff. I can kind of layer it. You can layer it, or just pour it all in. I'm gonna just. I'll do it like this, so it can be quick. Spread it out. Get everything. And then here is the pasta. So this is, I think it's the whole thing, if I'm not mistaken. The whole thing. And I got, remember I said I put some seasonings and minced garlic and stuff. Get all your flavor. You're, you're going to need it. It's going to be good. <laughs> and then I was this. I'ma show ya, and then I'm gonna put the parsley, and then I'm gonna give it a um another stir. Be gentle when you stir it, 
so that you don't mess up your pasta. You don't want broken pasta. So now I got all of this. Oh, <laughs> it's trying to run away. All of my parsley. And then, um, well, let me just. She chopped this up fine. <laughs> I appreciate her. My daughter did that. <laughs> All right, that's the parsley. Um, give it another zhuzh. Oh, I forgot to show you before that. I'm sorry. I'll just make it even. cheese is over there but I'm going to show you before I and that's what it looks like and then I'm going to get that cheese right here we're going to open this and that's going to go in the middle Um, I have my oven on 350 and I would just do it until this gets like kind of golden and melt it and then you just mix it up and I'm putting it just right in the middle I'm going to show you I can show you again see I saw her she was scraping the sides so I'll scrape the sides too like she did <laughs> I copied this I showed her Um, I made a video on TikTok the first time I made it and she wasn't really happy <laughs> she was but she wasn't she was like, how did you make it look better than mine? <laughs> how did you make that? What did you do? So now this is what it what it looks like. And that's it. And you put it, I would say, like I said, make it, do it until it's brown. Um, and yeah, and give it a stir. And that's that. Or you could bake it again if you would like. You know, the bake the cheese a little bit, but it's not really that kind of cheese. Normally, with this, I probably would have did two cheeses, but this is going to be fine. It'll be just fine. It tastes the same. <laughs> and that's that. And I'm going to take a picture, and I'm going to post it when I get done. Um, Is that butter? No. So, this is garlic and fine herbs. Uh, Borson cheese, and I got this one at Aldi, but you could also get it at um at Whole Foods, cause that's where I got it from the first time when she first sent me to find it. She she sent me on a hunt. <laughs> yep, that's what that is. And I think my screen is backwards. That's not fun. It should be mirrored, I guess. But yeah, and um, if you do it for a full pan and not a half a pan, I will put two. You put one on each side and you cook it um, until, like I, I watched her make it. You cook it until, you know, it kind of gets golden and melted and then you fold it in. And you can bake it again or not bake it again, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and it's so good. I told her earlier, I said... That stuff is a um a party a party pleaser. Like it's something simple and fast. I feel like the longest thing that took me was the pasta because the other stuff you could already have your shrimp and things or chicken or whatever thawed out before you cook it and ha and do it fast, you know? It's a quick meal though. I like it and I love pasta. That's my weakness. <laughs> And I haven't had this in a while, so I feel like I deserve it. <laughs> I deserve it. Yep. So, I'm going to go. Thank you for coming on here, and I can't wait till you get your stuff. I'll see you. So, I hope that if y'all missed it, y'all run it back. Because this is the end. Love y'all. Okay, love ya.